Hey, YouTube, it's your girl, Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Looks like my channel may be headed in a different direction in some aspects. I started out um, talking about the NACA program because that's a home buying program. And it's not just for low income, ain't nothing like that. But the key to this program is to get you good rates where you won't be ripped off. It was a time where the predatory lending was going on and people were getting homes that they could not afford because they, the interest rate was through the roof and they were losing their homes. So that's why NACA came to be to get you a good rate. If you go through NACA, you will be financed through Bank of America at a very good interest rate. Now, because I said all that to say, this is causing me to give you more information about like credit scores and stuff. And with NACA, they're not strict, strict, strict with the credit score, but you still wanna have good credit for yourself. That way you can go and buy you a nice car. You can get um, other things at a good rate. Your credit is important. That's very important because if you don't have cash, you can use credit. So good news, um, student loan people, I'm in that group. I have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. So you know, you already know what I'm facing. So let me put on my little readers. We just got some news as of April 13th, 7.5 million student loan borrowers will get a fresh start and a credit score boost when payments resume. So if you are like me, I have a student loan to have a couple and one is on the COVID, um, you know, break. The other, I pay a small amount. Both of my loans are income driven. So I just want to read you a little bit of this. When the Biden administration announced earlier this month that the pause on federal student loan payments will be extended through August, it presented an additional change that could boost the credit scores of millions of borrowers, pulling them out of default, glory, glory, hallelujah. Um, the Department of Education said borrowers who were in default before the corona pandemic will receive a fresh start. Are you all listening to me? So if your student loan was in default before the pandemic, it's like wipe the slate clean. Now, this never happens. Never happens. So. Let me read that again. Okay, sorry, I have to repeat it just to get it clear. Borrowers who were in default before the corona virus pandemic will receive a fresh start when payments resume with the black mark removed from their credit reports. An estimated 7.5 million borrowers can have their statuses wiped clean. So what I'm trying to say is, if you had a student loan that has gone into default and has brought your credit score down, after August, so it sounds like September 2022, that's going to be removed from your credit. And that's, they saying this could, listen, let me just read it. I want to make up Tammy Walker stuff. The terms of default vary depending on the type of loan borrowers have. But for most federal loans, it means that a payment has not been made in at least 270 days. Expunging the status, it could boost your credit score as much as 100 points. So for people, even if you're not using that NACA program, you might be using all these other mortgage programs in the future. That's going to kick your credit score into high gear. You, you at 590, you're going to be at 690. You're at 620, you're going to be 720. Some people by as much as 100 points. It's not a guarantee. So exactly how much a borrower score will rise depends on the individual's financial circumstances. This is so good. I just want to jump on here and say that um, this is awesome. This is good, good news. Um, okay. And just to sum this up, a low credit score can impact a consumer's ability to qualify for loans and credit cards. It's even hard to rent. These renters they are looking at your credit score. I know that's how I got into my apartment. Uh, you can't have anything on your credit to get in here because I tried to get in here. Oh my God. I don't even know how many years ago now. I'm a, I'll say eight years ago, eight or eight or seven years ago. And I was denied because I had a blemish on my credit. And so now 
I, I, you know, I worked hard and cleaned my stuff up and it's clean. It's, but this is important for renting, for buying a car and getting a good interest rate from getting your home. So additionally, they could face wage garnishments if you have, you know, the student loan problem and other collection fees for not paying their federal loans. Well, that's going to be over. You're going to get to start fresh. So I want you to feel optimistic about your credit score, especially if you're in that default student loan group. And, you know, we have to be honest with ourselves. Some people, they don't go and fix their credit because they are ashamed and they'll think it's so beyond repair. They just bury their head in their head in the sand. That never works. And I get it. I felt like that before. Like, I'm not even going to look at it because I know I messed it up. But what I learned when I did look at it, it wasn't nowhere near as bad as I thought. It's important to look at your credit because it could be an error on there that you can get fixed and that that'll kick up your score. So always face whatever obstacle. It's not just credit. Whatever your, your problem is, your health, um, your job, your relationship status, whatever, address that head on. Don't bury your head in the sand. It's going to be hard sometimes. And sometimes it's not as hard as we think, but you'll never know if you don't try. So I hope this video gives someone hope if your credit has been, you know, tarnished because of your student loan. is And if it's a federal loan, be on the lookout September, October. See, keep checking your credit and make sure that score goes in an upward climb. A good thing to do is hook up with Credit Karma. I use Credit Karma, a free service where you can see, um, I was going to say Equifax and TransUnion. I pay for Experian on my own because I really monitor that one because that's the one that's the most stringent and it has the different FICO scores. I hope something I said helped you. My channel is um, growing each day. I'm getting more subscribers. I'm ever so grateful, ever so grateful. And um, I hope my information is really beneficial to you. Always drop comments. You can hit that like button. That'll help me. And, you know, invite other people to my channel if they want to improve their credit, if they want to buy a home, if they want to improve their love life, if they want to live their dreams, if they want to improve their health. I'm always giving health tips as well. Um, this channel is Dreams Are a Reality because you can have good credit. You can have your house. You can have a nice car. You can have the love of your life. You can have the baby, the dog, the cat, and the picket fence. You can have it all. I am Tammy C. Walker. On that note, I'm going to sign off. I have some chicken thighs in the crock pot that I must get to and a salad that I bought from Pot Bellies. I don't know if you all know about Pot Bellies. If you're in Illinois, you do probably Chicago area. All righty. Have a beautiful day. God bless you all. Love you all so much. And I'll be back again with more information and another great video. Bye-bye.